Wellerman come Bring us coffee, tea, and rum One day when the tongue is done Take our leave and go At a fair This adventure took place some years ago in the late summer of 2018. The boat I'm utilizing is a 13-foot Boston whaler that I actually inherited from my grandfather. And I believe it's a 1968 and it has probably been on the water every year since 1968. So I'm headed for a place that I refer to as Bird Island. I don't know what its official name is or whether it even has an actual name, but this is a long island right on the edge of the main river channel of the Cumberland. There are a lot of islands like this in these waters, but to me this is one of the more interesting ones. So I motored to the farthest point upwind of the island and I was just kind of drifting along the bank and shooting some video and just looking at things. As I came to about the midpoint of the island, there was something that caught my eye right there on the bank. Something a little bit unusual that I was not expecting to see. It was just kind of a plain recreational kayak, about nine and a half foot, and it was really, really dirty and filled up with sand and water and covered in bird droppings. It's kind of stuck down in the sand here, full of water, so. I'm gonna bail some of this water out first. All right, we got her, got her bailed out pretty good. Now, see if I can dig it out of the sand. Bottom looks pretty good. There's a little bit of a dent right there. The hole seemed to be intact and it would float. Um, the worst thing about it, I guess, was just a little bit of a dent in the bottom of the hole, but that's really not a big deal. So I was pretty excited about this find. It took a few hours of rinsing out and scrubbing and general cleaning, but I eventually got it just about pristine. And that distinctive river smell was even gone. I think this is a pretty old design of kayak. It's really nothing all that special but hey it's a kayak and how cool that I just found it in the river now you may be wondering how did this kayak come to rest on the bank of that island and I've wondered the same thing but you know my uh, my suspicion is probably uh, floated away from someone's dock or wasn't tied down well to a houseboat and got away. Uh, just based on the way I found it, I don't think this was the result of a capsize with someone in it. Because in that case, I would expect it to have turned upside down and been swamped really badly, rather than being in a condition to where it could float and uh, land on the island upright, so I don't think there was anyone in it when the boat was lost. But interestingly, there were some stickers on this kayak when I found it um, that were for an event that I traced back to Canada, that it seems only happened in Canada. So very odd and interesting. I was really excited about this find. Um, it's kind of uncommon. You don't often find a usable boat of any kind just on the riverbank and I've got a lot of use out of it over the last several years and I've even lent it out to friends. 